Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black from No Export For You, and welcome to part 11 of my blind let's play of Fukan no Grasesta, trial version. This time we're just spending some free time before getting to the next plot event, so let's hop into it. Hey, this girl was in the uh, battle. Hmm, I give up. Our celebratory drink is... Okay. The reservation. The uh, plan ahead for our celebratory drink has gone to waste. So here in the Interceptor Hall, we find this girl, and there's all this planning on talking to her too, and she seems to be rather out of it, disappointed in something. You there, mister. Listen to this. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all in. My wallet's all empty. This is horrible. Uh, let's just take a look at this. Yeah, the wallet's open. You can tell by the way it's shaped there. It's partially blocked, mostly blocked here, so you can't tell. Ah, oh, that's so sad you don't have anything in your wallet. Ah, yes, I saw her in the calamity with that big umbrella. So, mister, you got your guild points. Are you going shopping with them? How nice. There's stuff I wanted to. So anyway, can you loan me some money? Just a little. Just a little, just a little. Look, you were properly participating in the battle. You should be paid way more than me. Huh. Look, you were participating in the calamity. Maybe I shouldn't put words in Javal's mouth. He knows what is going on here. So, didn't you earn anything? So, that really, really wasn't enough. Normally, it lasts a lot longer, but this time, she thought she would earn more and, well, Huh. So, just like Jadal, there are people who participate in the calamity just to earn more. Are you always participating in the calamities? Ah, huh. yes, it's an opportunity to earn, but this time, it was just over all of a sudden. So, she didn't earn that much. Huh, I'll tell you something good. You should hunt the monsters that just appear down there. If you just hunt down the survivors from the calamity, it should be good enough. I can't just go down, go around doing little busy works like that. I want to earn it all, all at once. Eh, well, whatever. 
Well, it's not like I don't understand that. Even though I'm in a different position here. Huh. Come to think of it, I saw you in the Calamity as well. Did you earn a lot? I can't say it's that much. Isn't that right? Jeez. Just like I haven't lost, uh, lost the earnings I expected. Uh, what kind of calamity was that? How pathetic. So, mister, you want to hire me? Let's go go earning. So, this is Yunagi. If we're hunting monsters, you can leave it to me. Okay, I think I don't have enough money. Okay, da da da. It looks like she'd be useful in a battle. Well, she went to a. She goes to these calamities regularly. Alright, I'll think about it. Really? Absolutely, you know. In order to earn money for my lifestyle, you better come call me. I wonder if she has the same voice actor as Mikayu. It really reminds me of her. Alright, we've become able to hire Yanagi. Here in the Interceptor Hall. Hmm. Well, isn't this cute? All right, interceptor groups. Just a worker. This is an eating hall through here. Right? Hmm. I guess not. No, oh, looks like this is the hiring place. So if there's someone that you want to hire, you can uh, you can enlist them here. So if you've got people that you'd like to hire, just aggressively talk to them. Mm. Oh, and I'm Ryushi Derida. I haven't been in the Interceptor group for very long, so it'll be a pleasure working with you. Mm. Well. When I was talking to her, I noticed this animation up here. The light passing through the arches. But it doesn't look important. It just distracted me, that's all. What's this? I guess we'll never know. Mm-hmm, that's the hall. So how do we get to the container of slaves? It looks like we can't open these treasure boxes until we're higher slave swords. 
Well, how nice. So is this going to take me to the place I'm used to seeing eventually? Oh man, this is a little maze. What? Oh. So there was that guard here before, and now she isn't there. Ha ha ha, no. No to you as well. <laughs> a heart symbol, that means it's a sex scene. I've played these games before. Say, where's, uh, what's his face? Yutre. I would talk to him. Okay. Excel. You, I heard. You got wrapped up in that... that demon calamity. Yeah, rather than saying getting wrapped up in it, it's a bit different. Well, I don't understand that, but are you uninjured? If it's necessary, I know I can use recovery magic. So if you need any help, just tell me. That's a big help. But it was nothing big. In that case, that's good. Well, she's pretty and more suitable. Like, heavenly beautiful, but, you know, she's down here for whatever reason. So, she quietly smiles. Why are you so worried about someone you've only met so briefly? One after a word, one meeting. Well, it's kind of like uh, this could be the last time, you know? So you need to take the people you meet. You need to be taking care of the people that you meet. I don't know if I'm the type of person you should be thinking about that. Hmm. Well, do as you see fit. It's not like I'm attacking your goodness or whatever. You seem kind of defenseless. Like you're, go and it seems like you're going to get hurt someday because of it. <laughs> Hmm, because we're in a place like this. So, if you rescue people with kindness, they may take advantage of you, run you over, and at times, basically take advantage of you but I can't say that I don't regret that but if you cut off ties with someone then what you could have gained you can't gain hmm well then do as you like It's not like I have anything 
I'll write to say anything more about it. I don't know why she's doing this for him or for possibly everyone. Huh. She seems like a really nice girl. And you too. You really shouldn't push yourself too hard. I don't say that I'd do it for free, but if you can pay, I can also lend you my power. Particularly, if you're going to be fighting in a demon cataclysm, again, then at that opportunity, please call me up. I'll think about it. Hi. Yes. All right. We can recruit Excel now. Come on. No again. Goodies. Oh. Another one of those. I wasn't able to buy back the first one I got. But this is better than nothing. I, I feel like the first one gave me two, though. <sighs> hmm? This girl participated in the Oi! Demon Cataclysm too. Hey! The one called Jadal, is that you? <laughs> Thanks to you, the demon cataclysm was cut short. How are you going to pay for this, huh? So, this woman that just calls out to me. comes up and grabs him. Hey, let me go. Your face, your attitude. I don't like you. And you cause a bother for the rest of us. And you're just acting like you don't care. <laughs> this was an opportunity to earn, and because of you, it got cut out. I'm in a bad mood, and it's only natural. Hmm. Uh, is that so? Sorry. If you're done, if you're done complaining about me, let me go. So, Shinitaika. Oh, you want to die, do you? In that case, I'll kill you right here. Uh, that's... Huh. It's Yugi. Okay. She's telling Agna to stop it. We can't have our individual fights going on here. <laughs> but out, Yunagi. I'm in a really bad mood. Well, I can see that. But this is absolutely no good. <laughs> Absolutely.
deciding our own fights with our power and our knowledge. That's good enough, isn't it? In this town, if you've got the power, no matter what the problem is, you can handle it. In that case, I can pay the, off this debt to you, right? Interesting. Why don't you try it, trash? Ah, that's it. That's a great plan. In that case, if as we if we do this like every time, you, you'd get a you'd get everybody angry at you for hurting someone again. So then. Since Agno wants to earn, how about Jedal hires her? Hires you. In that way, in that way, the earnings that you lost, Jedal gets to pay you. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> It may pay off all the losses from the cut short fight. But since you're a pretty good fighting force, Jedal gets quite a bit out of it. So, two burns with one stone kind of thing. I see. I'm going to confirm this, but are you good in a fight? <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? How about I smack into your body? What? How good a fighter I am? <laughs> okay, so apparently she can fire. Meat shots? Muscle shots? So she's got some kind of magic user with her own particular magic. And Yunagi says that she's the only one who can use that. Yeah, that's a bit weird to be using on a human. Okay, I'll think about it. Hmm. Well, fine then. So she lets go of Jedal's collar. That's what she had. Um, what he, what she had him gripped by. But this Agna holds up three fingers. And don't call me out for boring fights. And call me out anytime there's an earning opportunity. Finally, don't tell me how to fight. Can you keep that in your little mind of yours? Oh, great, I can hire her. Okay, you seem crazy powerful, but you're also, you know, crazy, crazy. Okay, lower rank slaves can't go that way. Oh man, this place is a maze. I said that already, didn't I? A 
Okay, there's a sign, but apparently I can't read. Oh, man. But seriously, though, you, where'd you today go on, get off to? So that's that. We met three new girls. And actually, next time we're going to be watching a cutscene that is entirely unrelated to Jedal actually going north on this screen. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.